welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna be going over the engine breakdown, breaking down a 68 Merc 650 uh, for rebuild and repaint. So here we go. So I have the outer panels off right now. And I'm gonna start disassembling everything and separating it out, removing components so I can get to the inner block. Uh, I've already started disconnecting a couple things. I uh, got the power cable loose. Uh, I'm working on getting the shift and throttle cables loose. Got one of them popped off and then the other one I still got to get out. Uh, I'm going ahead and taking the lower unit off at this point. I'll have the engine block out here soon. Uh, but in order to take this off, you have to take the anode off the bottom, which the bolt is a hex head down in here. Uh, you got another bolt that's underneath there on the Mark 650 here. Uh, two nuts that are on studs underneath here. Then you got the two bolts that are coming up. Remove the screws on either side from here and one on the other side. And then there's one right here as well with a cap. So now we got the lower unit out. Um, uh, gonna get it cleaned out, cleaned off. Uh, the water pump will end up getting replaced in the process of this as well. But I'll tape off all the inside edge surfaces along there uh, and get the prop taken off and get the uh, area right in here all sealed up for paint. Uh, try and get this all sanded down. Uh, smooth out these edges right in here as well where it ended up hitting a couple things over its edge. Uh, we'll get this all nice, prettied up, painted, looking good, just like the rest of the components. I got to also have brand new screws for uh, the vent and bottom drains. Not too worried about the water in, uh, intake right there. Uh, that screw's in good shape. Uh, these are commonly used, so I want to make sure those get changed out. Uh, unfortunately, I could not show uh, pulling the engine itself. Uh, I was borrowing an engine hoist. So I had to get that sucker back. But here's the engine all pulled out. And I'll show you real quick. On here. There was a total of eight bolts. We got the two up here and the six main studs that go down further into the block. Uh, we'll have to scrape this gasket off, get
get this all cleaned out in here uh, where the water pickup is get a lot of this crud out and everything and try and get this thing looking and feeling new So as I'm doing the tear down, I got the starter off and just, I was not planning on tearing down the starter, but it ended up opening up on me. Uh, here is a trick though. It probably would work better with smaller zip ties, but for the center cylinder, uh, the, these contacts here are spring loaded and they will not stay in place. Use zip ties to hold them in place. Bring the cylinder up through it. And when you're ready, start clipping the zip ties and it will clamp down in its spot where it's supposed to be. That will make the job a whole lot easier. As you can see, I brought it up through. The zip ties are kind of blocking from fully putting it in place, but all you got to do is clip the zip ties. The plates themselves, I know it's a little hard to see, I'm trying to do this with one hand, but those plates themselves all around that are sitting against it. And once I clip those zip ties, it'll just push out against and I'll be able to push it the rest of the way up and the springs won't have an effect on it. And they won't fly out on you. Here it is without the zip ties. Uh, as you can see, got it all back in place. And I did go ahead and clean it up while I had it out. Uh, make sure to use some WD-40, wipe it down. That stuff is great for preventing water damage. Uh, it's a water deterrent, not really originally supposed to be a lubricant but that will help get it back in place really easy. All right, so I've got the starter all back together. 
Uh, might need another quick wipe down, but I got the body pretty cleaned up. Uh, I got all the brackets attached that I'll need. I did go ahead and redo this wire. I hadn't done this one. Uh, this is the power from the solenoid going to the starter. Uh, so I got heat shrink tubing and then wrapped it with electrical tape to help keep it clean and looking good. I uh, went ahead and attached the starter solenoid ground wire for the signal. So this way, all I got to do is bolt it up to the uh, engine block after I got the engine done. Now here I've got the cap taken off. So you can, I did wipe it out already. Uh, just some WD-40 and if you do clean the contacts, just use some light emery cloth or super fine sandpaper. You don't want to take much off because you don't want to spread those contacts away from the rotor right here. It's in pretty good shape. It's just like burning right there from over 50 years of use. But in pretty nice shape. I'll get that remounted back on. I'm not too worried about taking all this apart but I, I do have to get it taken off so I can get the engine taken apart and get those pistons rings replaced. And I'll have the carbs off after that as well. Be able to start doing the rebuild on those. Your center nut on your flywheel is a 15 16 inch. And go ahead and remove it. And then there's also a next you're going to take this centerpiece and put it right in here inside the uh, flywheel removal tool this is what the bolt is going to push against against the crank while you uh, put down the center bolt to pull the flywheel off so this is going to thread straight in And you put the center bolt in. Pop that flywheel right off. There's your pieces. And the washer. Do be careful, there is a key in here on the crank, and that's what helps line up the flywheel to the engine. And now we'll be able to get this cover off so we can get the ignition removed. There's the cover on the ignition.
is the crank removed on the ignition pulley. And now we'll be able to get to these bolts. I'll get these cleaned up. Try and get this grease out of here. And then we'll get these bolts off. So I can get this ignition off, get these carbs off. I now have the ignition system removed and all cleaned up, put back together. I also went ahead and put some new heat shrink tubing on the wires going into the energizer for the ignition. But this is all cleaned up and when ready to assemble, I'll put this back on. Get this all hooked up. Now here's the carbs. I've already got them removed. Still need to finish cleaning the timing gear and cover and get the flywheel all cleaned up. Uh, like I said before, the timing belt looks really good. It actually looks like it might have been replaced. But it's in nice shape. No problems with the teeth, no cracks in the belt. So this will get removed, save a little money there. Now the carbs are gonna get broken down in a separate video. That way I can go into more detail on that for you. But the engine block is almost complete. We're gonna get it cleaned up and degreased. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these plates taken off. And then the piston rings are gonna be in their own video as well. So I won't crack the case open until that video. All right, so I have all the covers off. I'm gonna place those bolt, a lot of those bolts back in so I don't lose them. But all these covers are off. I can actually get a look at the pistons. I do notice some marking on a couple pistons. This side isn't bad. And some of that is from what I just blew out in here. I was kind of scraping some of the exhaust crud off. But yep, I'm gonna get this sucker cleaned out. Go over it again. I do have a bolt here, a bolt here, and a bolt here that snapped on me. Uh, I did have one here, I've already gotten it out. So, still got that, that, and that one uh, that I gotta deal with getting out. Uh, and I had a couple over on this side right here and right here, but because it's open, I was able to knock them straight through after I got the cover off. Uh, I'm gonna clean up all these surfaces, make sure it's good and ready for new gaskets so we have the block all wiped down and mostly cleaned up I'll do a more detailed cleaning uh, once I get the pistons taken out and the blocks separated no way I can really get into all the nooks and crannies and crevices I'll get this sucker cleaned up but otherwise this is gonna do it and that's it for the engine teardown video. The last little bit, taking the uh, cover off the crank, that's gonna be in a separate video where I'm gonna change out the piston rings and hone the cylinders. So stay tuned. I'll have new updates on that soon enough. And if you'd like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, Go ahead and subscribe so you'll get updates for the future videos. Uh, any questions or comments, make sure to hit, that, hit up that comment box as well. And I'll see you in the next one.